use this video as your guide to improve your life by creating the best evening routine that you can have. This is powerful information and it is providing you with the building blocks for your future. You will thank me later after you've watched this video. Hi, I'm Sorsha and I help people get unstuck and create powerful results in their life. Now, if my content resonates with you, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so you can get more powerful shifts just like this on your feed. So each of these routines that I will go through with you, these examples have a structure of these four things. So one, having a goal and a plan. Two, having a self-care activity. Three, having a goal-focused activity. And four, having a self-improvement activity. Now, in order for you to have success and actually get results with your evening routine, you need to have these four things because this is the structure of a powerful evening routine. Now, if you would like some more money in your life, you want some stability, here's an evening routine that you can do at home. So first, have a money goal and a plan. Then you wanna look at the steps and look at making a plan that implements all of these steps into your evening routine. And then secondly, you want to have a goal-focused activity. So an example of this could be that you look at your budgeting and your spending each night. And this is a great one because this really helps you iron out all the uncomfortableness. You get used to looking at your money, used to looking at your spending, and it just feels a lot better when you're in control, you're managing it correctly. And then number three is having a self-care focused activity. So maybe you have, maybe you heal your money relationship through journaling money affirmations. So for instance, my relationship with money is getting better and better. I love money and money loves me. Money takes care of me and I take care of money. And I feel blessed to have money in my life. When you say those things, it feels a lot better and that's a great way to heal your relationship with money. And then finally, number four, you've got to have a self-improvement focus activity. So, Maybe you learn what money is about and how it works. So that's just one example. The great thing is you can mix and match. You can try different activities and see what works for you. And some more examples of goal-focused activities could be that you learn uh, and you research about passive income and see how you can implement that into your life or you look at your bank account and your outgoings and you get comfortable with that feeling. So other self-care focus activities could be having a gratitude list of all the times that you have received money and, and the many different ways, or you journal about your money relationship and where these deep-rooted beliefs have come from. Maybe you journal that how money is a, a great thing and all the positives and what is positive about reaching your money goal. What is the benefit? What was actually going to happen? So really reliving the vision or maybe you look at building that comfortability with money and really understanding it in a powerful way. Self-improvement activities could be that you improve your current skills, you improve by learning a new skill that adds to your career and adds to the value of the money that you're making, or you read books about money, you watch motivational videos about money, learn good habits that allow you to make more money and actually stabilize it. So if you want to improve your career, you want to start getting better, here's a evening routine that you can do at home that will allow you to reach more success in your life. First, you've got to have a career goal and plan and then look at implementing these steps into your evening routine. 
And secondly, you want to have a goal focused activity like looking and applying for career opportunities. And then the third one is having a self care focused activity like building your confidence and learning what your strengths are and really who you are and how powerful you can be. Finally, you want to have a self improvement activity. So learn how to ace your interviews and show your real passion. Okay, so other goal focus activities could be updating your CV. It could be having learned more tips and techniques for really improving your career and the skills that you have. Maybe you learn more about your industry. And then for self-care focus activities, you could do say yoga and meditation for inner peace, but also yoga for stretching out your posture and your back, because if you work at an office job, that will be a great benefit to you. But also maybe you make a gratitude list. So you're always in a appreciative state that you're always having that flow of happiness and that joy and you appreciate where you've come from and maybe you heal your past wounds, your past experiences, your past mistakes. Self-improvement activities could be that you learn skills that set you apart. You learn how to network and be influential. You learn how to grow your confidence and passion that outshine others or you learn how to talk in a very influential way. Okay, so for better health and well-being and emotional healing, this is a evening routine that you can do at home. So first have a health and emotional healing goal and a plan of action. Look at the steps that you can implement into your daily routine and then you wanna have a goal focus activity. Maybe you look at what the root is of what's actually holding you back in life. And then a self care focus activity could be that you do yoga for anxiety. And then a self improvement focus activity is that you work on your negative self talk. Now other goal focus activities could be that you do hypnosis or you do exercise and really stretch your body, you do relaxation. And then other self-care focused activities that you could add in is dressing up in your best outfits and just taking amazing photos of yourself and really smiling. Get into all your comfy clothes and you just have that really nice snuggly time and you just journal and you feel good and you've got say a hot chocolate that's always nice to have or you could get your journal and write down everything positive about your life every every good result in your life and really celebrate everything and then self-improvement activities could be learning a skill reading self-improvement books so spiritual books self-help any of those anything that really inspires you anything that you feel called to to read and learn about. Learning about health, that's a great one, or learning a skill that actually improves your health, doing a technique and applying it to your life and seeing the results. Now it's time for you to get a piece of paper and pen and write down how your evening routine is gonna be. You can mix and match. Work out what is right for you, what kind of goal that you are looking to get results from and look at the different areas and think about, okay, what's important? Now, here's what you need to know next. Watch this playlist right here. It will give you a great addition to this video. It's got powerful tools and techniques that will allow a lot of shifts to happen in your life. So make sure you click here.